funky lyrics on this track I made up, you know what I'm saying? Huh. Yeah, and you don't stop. Yo, my name is D-Nice, although I hate to admit it. Taking out your suckers and you don't know how I did it. Here it is, Strawberry Letter 23. Where is it? Subject, this ain't what he thinks. <laughs> I love the subject. Well, hello there, Stephen Shirley. I'm a 24-year-old lady who has changed my life around, but I have a slight issue. I attend church every week, and I love it, but at times it gets uncomfortable because there is a man that attends church regularly who just won't stop staring at me. I don't want to state my name for personal reasons, but I hope if he is listening today, then my letter will make him think twice about looking because he is married. I didn't want to just go up to the man and ask him if he would please stop staring because realistically, that would make me look like I'm guilty of wanting him. This is most definitely not the case. I know that he and his wife have been going through problems in their marriage that only God can fix, and I mean major problems. I don't want him to think that just because he is going through it in his marriage, he can keep giving me these lustful looks. If he tries to come on to me, church service will end before it's supposed to because I'm not happy than that. I'm in need of help with how do I react if he does come on to me and do I tell his wife? Do I do I take it to my bishop so he can set him down or do I set it off up in the church because he got me mistaken with what we young folks call floozies. <laughs> Real. Really? Uh, okay, <laughs> simple to me. Can't you just ignore him? Mm -hmm. I mean, so what? He's staring at you. Uh, how do you know he's staring at you unless you're looking at him? Really? Mm -hmm. how, how do you know this is going on? And don't get me wrong, I'm sure it's annoying if he is staring at you constantly, but, but you can't control what he does with his eyes. Um, how do you react if he comes on to you? Turn him down. You're not interested. Keep him moving. Yeah, I mean, really, it, it may not be a bad idea, though, to speak to someone in authority, not the bishop. I'm sure he's way busier. You know, he has a lot of stuff on his plate. Maybe you could talk to a deacon, an assistant pastor, an elder, or something like that. And um, as to setting it off up in the church, please, please, because somebody's staring at you? Uh, no, ma'am, don't do that. Uh, if you do that, the pastor will probably be the one sitting you down. Okay, you'll be the one that's getting sick sit down. Steve? Okay. I'm confused. I'm very confused in this letter right here because, see, I, I read between the lines. Okay. And let me show you what this lady is really throwing me off at. I'll get to it in a second, but let's just go over a couple things. Okay. Uh, I'm a 24-year-old lady who's changed my life around, but I have a slight issue. I attend every church every week, and I love it. Okay. So what that's saying is you're 24, you can change your life around. You've been tricky. <laughs> okay, in the past. You got, you got a shady past, a tricky you been, past. You've been tricky. Uh-huh. Not tricking, tricky. Yeah, we got it. We've all been tricky. Mm -hmm. So you got to change from something, so you got to be in something to change from. Mm -hmm. I ain't dogging you. I ain't knocking you. I'm just reading into the letter. Mm -hmm. You done had some tricky things you done done. Now you done changed life around. Now you're at church now. At now 24? you think because you go to church now at 24, everything's supposed to be peach king. Here go your problem up at the church, though. It gets a little uncomfortable because there's a man that attends a church regularly who just won't stop staring at me. What makes you think because you in church you finna escape a man staring at you? Men, men, wherever they are, and men want what they want wherever they are. You ain't finna go to church and get excluded from that. <laughs> People get married in church. Yes. People have kids in the church. People have uh, what you think happening. How you think you meet a Christian man unless he's staring at you? How, how you think this ever gonna happen? Now, the problem, you say, is that he married. Mm -hmm. Okay? Once again, if you thought church was supposed to protect you from this, ta-da, another revelation. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> that ain't what it is. Church ain't protection from sin. No. Church is supposed to be healing for you. Mm -hmm. It don't mean you ain't going to run up into it no more. Seeing at the church, it's in the choir stand, the pulpit, and it's out in the congregation sitting in the pew. All right. It's on the nurses guild, it's on the deacon board, it's at the Sunday school. Mm -hmm. Seeing all over everywhere. Yeah. It ain't finna go. People quit, quit thanking church, you finna go and find all these diamonds. Everybody got dirt on them. Now, 
I don't want to just go up to the man and ask him if he would please stop staring because realistically that would make it look like I'm guilty of wanting him. That is definitely most not the case. Mm -hmm. Now, here's the confusion. Mm -hmm. I know that he and his wife have been going through yeah. problems in their marriage that only God can mm -hmm. fix. And I mean major problems. I don't want him to think that just because he's going through this in his marriage, he can keep giving me those lustful looks. Okay, y'all talking. Uh-huh. Yeah, 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 see, uh -huh. see, 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 see. <laughs> He's staring at you, but y'all talking. Mm. Yeah. yeah. See, see, only way you going to know that this man got problems in his marriage, major problems in his marriage, that only God can fix, and you don't want him to think because he going through all this in his marriage that he keep giving you these lustful looks. Y'all talking. Mm. See, little young girl, you can't write me. Uh -uh. And expect me not to look at this letter right. Y'all talking. Mm -hmm. And he's giving you the typical line that men use. Yeah. I'm having problems right. with my wife. Yeah, right. out the gate. What man can start an affair without that line? <laughs> That's the line of line. That's how the affair gets started. Yeah, you're right. I'm having no man meets a woman and goes, you know what? I'm happily married. I really, really am. You want to have an I'm affair? I'm so happy, man. Yeah. I love my wife. She means the world to me. My family's everything to me. Mm -hmm. What you doing, Sad? Yeah. <laughs> Men use this opening line, ladies, because we play on the nurturing aspect mm -hmm. of a woman. The I would never do that to you. I would be different, and I'll fix it. And then guess what? I'll show you. Mm. And we know that about you. That's why that line ain't gonna ever get old. That's why that line gonna all always work because you sit up there in your mind and you play out I would never do that to you I would be a good woman then you go about the business of proving that you a good woman and better woman than his wife now you in an affair the reason y'all sit you know all this is cause y'all talking we come back Please. I'll tell you what else I think you're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show you know, this is for your girl that's changing life around going to church it's this man at church that won't stop staring at her. Mm. He's married. But she knows for a fact that he and his wife have been going through some problems only God. that only God can fix. And I mean major problems. I don't want him to think that just because he is going through this in his marriage that he could keep giving me these lustful looks. Mm. For you to have all this information, once again, little girl, you're talking to this man. See, this whole letter goes away if you just do one simple thing. What's that? Don't talk to him. Yeah. Like Shirley said, person can stare at you all day long. Yeah. If you don't acknowledge it or feed into it, it has to go away. It's just a person who stares at you all the time. That's okay. But now you, with this, I need help with this, because how do you react if he does? How do I react if he does come on to me? Do I tell his wife? Mm. Do I take it to my bishop so he can sit him down? Or do I set it off in church because he got me mistaken that, that we young folks call floozies? Mm. Excuse me. <laughs> First of all, a young term. you would go to the bishop to set him down. So, obviously, he's a deacon or something at the church. Okay, cool. Now, you want to get him set down. Or you want to go tell his wife. Or you going to set it out in church. All of this is a bit much yeah. because a man is staring at you. You're going to tell his wife. That's why we think on this show <laughs> that this is far more than just some stares. Come on now. That's why on the show of general consensus of the adults listening to this, <laughs> you are doing more than staring yes. at this man. Yes. yes. Y'all done had some extensive oh, conversations. Some waking. Because you can't take, listen to me. You can't go to a woman and go, your husband's staring at me. You can't go to uh -huh. a pastor and go sit Please him don't. down because he's staring at me. No. And you can't turn it out in church because he's staring at you. Yeah. What are you trying to say? If he says something to you, it's because you all have already been talking. Yes. And it done built up to the, I'm going to tell your wife. Uh, I'm going to have the pastor set you down. Uh, I'm going to set it off in church. What else? So let's just go on and cut this part of it out right here. You doing the most. Mm -hmm. uh, really? 
Absolutely. And you trying to make us think that the little tricky girl you used to be that's dead and gone now. In there. But everything you talking about doing is still tricky. She came right back yeah. in the last yeah. You're going to tell it, tell it why. <laughs> You're going to get him set down, right. and you're going to turn it out in church. Yeah, yeah. on holy ground. So please understand that we are all a work in progress. Keep working on your progress, because God ain't through with you yet, just like he ain't through with none of us. Quit talking to the man, and this goes away. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Just call me D-Nuts. My name is D-Nuts. My name is D-Nuts. 